This is Trey from Dying Fetus in New York City at the Metal Alliance Tour. Inside the Gramercy Theater, I'm here with my brother Trey from Dying Fetus. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Welcome back to New York City. It's what, the hundredth time you play here? <laughs> we get up here quite a bit, but every time it's awesome, so it's good to be back. Do you still remember the first time you guys gigged here in New York City? Uh, I, I don't know the first time Fetus did, but that was probably like at Lemoore's or uh, like uh, Coney Island High when that was around. But um, I think that was a venue, right? Yeah. And uh, but I know one of my first shows was uh, here at the Gramercy with Fetus, so it's cool to be back here. And you have a new album called Rain Supreme, so we obviously have to plug that right now. Right. Why don't you tell us about the production process of the new album? Well, it's going to be coming out June 19th, and uh, we recorded it with uh, Steve Wright, um, who did Descendant into Depravity and History Repeats, the last two releases we did, and um, we, we did it with him at Rightway Studios up in Baltimore. It was, uh, you know, always a pleasure working with Steve, and um, I think that it's we've achieved a new level of precision, and uh, you know, even more slam and grooves. You know, we kind of did a return to hardcore, like that New York tough guy hardcore, <laughs> not the other kind of hardcore that's popular right now, but like you know, the New England, New York tough guy hardcore thing, and um, you know, of course, technicality, brutality. We got it all in there. Um, some really creative solos that John put in, and, and actually John Gallagher, he wrote um, a bunch of lyrics, really for the first time writing lyrics on this album, so um, I think the public will be really intrigued to check out what we got to offer this time. And have you guys premiered any new songs yet here on the Metal Alliance Tour? Yep, we're playing two new songs on the Metal Alliance Tour, and if you're interested in checking them out, please come to the shows. Um, but we're doing two new songs off the album, one's called Womb to Waste, and another one's called Invert the Idols. And so far, so good here at the Metal Alliance Tour. I know the tour kind of just started, but what's your impression so far of the lineup and, you know, the whole organization of it? So far, things have been going really good. Um, like you said, it's early. But I don't predict any, any rough rotters to come. But uh, I think this is a really cool package for um, metal fans. Because there's, with the exception of black metal, we have just about every subgenre of metal that's relevant right now. You know, you've got Devil Driver kind of doing the, the mayhem festy, more mainstream metal crowd thing. You've got us doing just brutal death metal. You know, you've got um, bands like Impending Doom with that, the younger crowd, with the, you know, more, you know, uh, you know, metalcore crowd. You know, Job for a Cowboy who's just, you know, rips it up every night. You know, every, every band on this tour package brings their own little unique style, and I think all the fans of each band could benefit from seeing all the other bands and you might end up liking another one of these bands if you come to the show. And what are the plans for that? I mean, obviously you guys have an album coming out, as you said, in June. Beyond that, where are you guys going to be? Where I mean, you have fans worldwide. You went to South America recently. We're going to Central America once this is over. We're going to do uh, like Nicaragua and um, some dates in Central America, like four or five shows down there. And then after that, we have like a week off. And then we do, um, we do uh, some European dates, some festivals in Europe, and then we're doing a tour, I think it just got announced, with uh, Six Feet Under. We're doing direct support for Six Feet Under. So, um, and the album will be dropped during that tour. And uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of touring over the next uh, year. So, you know, we'll be hitting a town near you if we don't hit, hit you next time. We'll be hitting you some other time. We're going to Russia too again, which should be cool. and. Uh, yeah, man, we're getting we're getting everywhere. But of all the places that you have performed, which ones are the ones that you? I mean, I'm gonna make you pick your favorites because there's so many cool places and so many different and cool things about every place. But you have to pinpoint a few shows that for Fetus were just amazing, like whether it was recently or back in the day. Recently, uh, Buenos Aires. Um, the crowd was singing the, the the guitar melodies louder than the PA. And it reminded me of, like, I saw a uh, Iron Maiden uh, video, Fear of the Dark, on that Flight 666 uh, DVD they put out. And the crowd's singing along, right along with it. So I think if we film a DVD, I was like, you got, we got to at least get one song there. And then, hey, man, we're in New York City. New York City always fucking brings it for Fetus, and we always try to bring it for them. And so we always look forward to coming back here. 
Do you get somewhat anxious or nervous before you go on stage, or is it more like a kind of turn the switch on, you're on there, you're ready to go? Uh, not like, I never get choke nervous, like I can't do it. You, you get excited to play, you know? Um, and, uh, but like my first show with Dying Fetus was at a European festival with like 10,000 people, so I had to get over my nerves really fast. So it's just another show for us, you know what I mean? All right, Trey, I want to wish you the best of luck tonight here at the Sold Out Metal Alliance Tour in New York City. And again, you got to pick up Brain Supreme on June not, 19th. 19th. And hey, if you don't pick it up, I'm going to come and get you. And remember, they're going to be hitting the road all over the world. So wherever you're watching, they're going to come and get you. There's no escape from Dying Fetus. No, no. <laughs> no, don't run. Because, uh, you know, one shot, one kill. <laughs> Thank you, buddy.